Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next review for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So for this particular review, I'm going to be covering the um, planet Tatooine. So in this case, I am on the Eastern Dune Sea. So I'm at the point where I'm about to fight the Crate Dragon and uh, find the next star map. Um, I believe after... Um, this portion is when Calo Nord shows up to try and, um, or basically, um, fight so that he can confirm that, uh, my character, aka Revan, is dead. So, I guess I don't need to fight that particular monster. I, for some reason, thought I did. But the idea here is that we want to defeat the Kray Dragon to get the star map and then we also need to defeat Hallow Nord if he does show up. Um, I don't remember if he showed up somewhere else or not what I've played before so that's the, kind of the only thing that um, is up in the air. I just remember that every time I played the game he showed up um, here at the here on Tatooine. So um, I forget when the whole uh, Leroy Jenkins thing happened, but that this guy basically just pulled that. So um, let's find out what this guy is up to. So, um, <clears throat> basically we're getting information on how to defeat the Kray Dragon. Um, so we have to get the uh, Kray Dragon to exit the cave so that he... Um, <clears throat> Um, so basically we'll get the mines out around the cave and then I'll lead the Kray Dragon out so the mines explode around him. Um, so, I think I already picked up some Bantha food, so we're going to have to uh, um, try and lure the Banthas to the cave, so uh, lead an attack. Okay, so basically I need to gather those uh, Bantha um, to the cave to lure the Crate Dragon outside of... Oh, I don't want to go into the desert, but we want to um, lure the <coughs> Bantha to the cave, which is why we couldn't attack them before we actually need them. So, let's see what the journal says. Uh... Star map Tatooine. Oh, I guess I should actually go to a Bantha that I need to lure, so... <clears throat> That's more like it. So. Okay, so that was. I was making it harder than it needed to be, but um, once this little mission is completed, then we will be able to get the crate out, dragon out and um, get to the star map. But as the guy said, we have to. Um, Um, avoid all these um, sand people so I'm gonna make sure that I don't lose too much energy as I'm fighting him and I want to make sure I actually survive this encounter 
um, just because they are tougher. So let's make sure that we're doing as best of a um, And I might have to do all that all over again just because um, they died. But if I can defeat that the last sand crawler, then I should be okay. So I can use uh, Bastila's uh, force healing in order to heal these guys up a little bit. Okay, so now that they're defeated, let's switch over to Bastila and heal up again. So luckily I didn't have to um, redo all those conversations all over again. And it looks like she's going to have enough force power in order to keep things going. So. Let's do a quick save. And I guess that was it. We had one only one group of sand people to deal with, so So lost some bantha fodder. So Okay, so now that we're luring the dragon out, that should be enough to, hopefully the mines do enough of their job, and I guess we're going to have to do a fight, so let's see what happens here, and that was good enough, the mines did their trick, so that wasn't as hard as I remember it to be, so, um, there must be something else going on. So, um, let's be a dark Jedi or Sith again. So, course and do everything in the more, most dark side way possible. So let's see what he has. I uh, don't want to talk to her right now. So let's get take his, her, his remains and then head on into the cave. Violet crystal, so maybe we can do uh, uh, purple lightsaber as well. That be that would be kind of nifty. And once I get back to the ship, it looks like I can do some um, lightsaber upgrades as well. So we've explored the caves, so now we can take a look at the star map. So now that I have the star map information, uh, let's see. 
can't do anything else with anybody else as far as upgrades go. So let's uh, go to Bastila. We'll make sure everyone has full health. So, so far no one's out at the main entrance. So I got everybody's um, equipment. So we'll head on out, see what happens from here. If there's nothing else, then basically from here is going to be heading back to the main camp, selling off as many items as we can, and moving on from there. So we'll do... So let's hope that my dark side powers don't um, get interfered with by using a Jedi Master Robe, but having uh, more protection never hurt either so we'll move on from here and oh I guess we do get to fight or we do have to fight Kalo Nord from here so Um, basically, this is a fight that I know that we can't get or get away from. So let's shield everybody up. We'll um, use um, let's see, get some uh, force valor, force shield going on to protect ourselves, and then um, I guess. I want to So that was actually a lot easier than I expected so um I guess as long as you keep draining everyone's energy, life isn't, or these levels aren't as bad as one would think. So, I guess there's not too much um, stuff to steal, so we'll pick up whatever is, is there. Um, but I guess, I think the whole, I guess the whole idea here with, and since we already had Kalinor stuff, I guess there's not going to be too much to pick up as far as um, um, equipment so so um, I guess my main thoughts here are that because the level wasn't as hard it's one of those things that if you do everything in the right order the game's not as hard as one would think So I guess there was not anything to pick up from the um, sand people that we defeated. So I, from here, we'll take a quick look at. Um, so there's nothing much to pick up from there. So it's just a matter of heading back to the trading post. So oh, we don't want to go into the desert, and obviously the game doesn't let you. So that's actually one of those nifty little things in the game that. Um, stops you from going too far although I guess at some point you would figure out that um, if you are going in a direction that doesn't seem to make too much sense then um, you'd have to f you'd figure it out eventually so um, just part of all the good in-game mechanics that we've got set up so um, basically from here I, if there's any more uh, Tusken Raiders to take out then we'll take them out as well. We don't need to worry about any mines I get for now. I think we already picked up everything from this guy's corpse, so we'll, we won't worry about that. So continue on we go. So this is just one of those things that's a nifty part of the game. The one thing I did like was that we are able to um, fight next to uh, 
um, one of the um, Java vehicles. I'm drawing a blank on the name itself right now, but um, I thought that was pretty nifty. Uh, we do meet Jawas, but nothing as far as um, Java fighting on the Java vehicle like or the sand crawler like we saw in the Mandalorian. But in any case, I thought that was a nice touch. Um, they did all of the things that we would expect in the game in order to make the game as um, interesting as possible. So overall, that's pretty much the bulk of it though um i i guess um between tatooine and kashik if i was to rate them i would probably find them equally well done just because um the attention to detail is um very well done we do get to see the vastness of tatooine versus the um trees and nature and scope of kashik with all the trees and the stuff that they built around it so I guess we do need to talk to Bastel a little bit, so see what's going on. So I guess she's getting used to my character, aka Darth Revan. So... So let's see what the journal entry here is. So I guess um, that just continues to go along with. Um, so I guess there's nothing else to say with her. So let's see if I can talk to her again. Uh, so. I don't know if maybe that's one of those things where we've, we're we not going to get any more conversations out of her because we don't want her to talk anymore or part of that whole um, dark side vision. So, Okay, so we got another war story for the Kendra, so, um, so I guess as we, if we want to learn more, then we're going to have to talk to him some more as well, but, um, that's just, it's just one of those things where, um, if you want more stories, you have to spend the time to talk to all these characters, and it's supposed to become that much better over time, so let's see what this guy wants now. So I think this has to do with the um, Gizka that are on the ship. So um, I forget what that quest is exactly, but um, maybe it has to do deal with the Gizka or something else. But it's one of those things where there's so much in the game too that it's easy to forget what's going on. So. Um, head into the office and see if we can't sell off some items. Okay, so uh, nothing there, so let's see if there's anything I can sell or buy infinite the bad stuff. Uh, so nothing much there. So let's, uh, I guess I'll go around. Um, so the, yeah, that's really the bulk of this particular level. Um, once you travel around Anchorhead and take care of all that stuff, um, 
once you also take care of the Tuscan Raider camp, that's also a whole um, another bit of uh, fun because you do get to see a Tuscan camp. You have to take them out. You get to um, Um, you get to go around their camp, see how they live, see how their system is set up, and you get some points as well. So, let's finish upgrading the lightsaber. Uh, what do I want to... Quick to the cut or create dragon pearl. So we'll do that, and let's see if we can... So we'll do a one um, red lightsaber, one purple lightsaber. Let's upgrade... Um, so let's go back to this one. So we have two... So I've upgraded that, and so now I can do a red and purple lightsaber so I can be part Mace Windu, part Sidious, or part Vader um, either one whatever makes you happy so I'm gonna do a quick run I don't I don't really need anyone else for the rest of this but I'm gonna go and see if I can sell off um, anything that I have for from this quest in the hunting lodge so Let's go back there really quick. And that's the one thing I do like is every world has some, some form of a cantina, some form of hunting lodge. So if you do want to sell things off in. Um, crack and pearl. So. Uh, I can, so let's sell that off. Uh, sell that off. Actually, did it the wrong way. I bought those, so um, we'll sell off things I don't need. Uh, sell, sell. I do need all my grenades, light scan visors. Don't know what I'm going to need all this other stuff. Dragon Pearl, so there it is. Uh, that's what I was looking for. So um, now that I've sold all that stuff off, um, there's not much I need to really do. So now that I've got some money, I don't need to spend anything else there. Um, I think everything else on the Yavin 4 station was a little bit more expensive. So, and also because, so that's really all there is for this particular review. I'm going to end it here just because. Um, I'm not sure when um, Kart's Admiral Guy's ship is going to come, so I'll, I'll probably make that another gameplay video, but um, overall that's the bulk of Tatooine. You get a look at Anchor Head, you get to have to now deal with these Giska, you have to um, you get HK-47 as a um, the weird droid to fight against. Um, or hates humans but is loyal to the master so you have to be um, strong enough in order to upgrade him so I do need to make sure at my next upgrade to try and um, try and pick up some security or computer skills to see if that will help up, um, unlock some of his features, his features and um, 
abilities so there's so the game slowly and easily nicely um adds different features and dynamics to the game so you can have different characters to um to progress in the game and do things as easily as possible just like the crate dragon so once you so the game I do find is easier if you do pick one side versus the other. Um, this game isn't as good as um, having to stay in the middle. Although the next game I think is a little bit better about that KOTOR 2. So, um, um, for this I, re yeah, I do definitely recommend being a Jedi or a Sith and uh, taking it from there. So, um, yeah, that's basically just that's what it comes down to in um, this entire game. That once you start going down the, once you do start doing the character development more and more, you do are you are able to progress things in different ways and have people do different things in different ways that much better. So. Um, and then also the one thing to notice. Um, that's what I do recommend, which is one thing, or what I do recommend is talking to your crewmates and um, progressing the storylines as much as you can so you can learn more and more over time. Um, so you can make those progressions and um, progress the story. And then also, when, when you are a Jedi or Sith, you do get to see that um, progression with your character is faced to get more um, heroic as a Jedi or more dark and Sith looking as a dark side user. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, and all that good stuff. Um, reviews like this can be found on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And the website um, it also has uh, ways to support the show if you want to um, help support my, my various content. But that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.